Hello, I am Zarkoon, and this is World of Warships Legends. Today we're going to be taking our first look at the brand new 2021 Halloween Commanders. There are three of them, and it appears that this time you actually have the possibility of selecting one, at least one, and getting it for free by playing the new Halloween mode and using the special temporary currency to purchase them. We'll go over how you actually get these guys later, but for now we'll take a look at all three commanders. We'll go over their base trait and their unique skills, and I will rate them in terms of whether I myself would purchase them. Obviously Wargaming gave these commanders to me so that I could show them to you, and let's start doing that now. Base trait of this guy, Nobu Sada Isano, Japanese destroyer commander, is called Blur. Increase incoming shell dispersion and your destroyer's maximum speed. So, interesting. Not necessarily the base trait I would apply to IJN torpedo boats. And this guy is obviously a torpedo focus commander, much like Tanaka. But potentially an interesting inspiration for open water gunboat destroyers like Tashkent or Kabarosk. This might actually make for a semi-decent inspiration, although I don't know that I would trade this inspiration out on my builds for Tashkent or Kabarosk uh, for this. I'm not convinced that I would want to do that, and so I would be quite hesitant to purchase this commander, especially since his unique skill, aka the thing that sets his skill set apart from the other alternative, like Tanaka, increases torpedo speed at the cost of torpedo range. And you can see that the range reduction is actually quite significant. And honestly, I can't imagine why you would want to use this skill in order to increase the speed of torpedoes and decrease their range. If you want to increase the speed of torpedoes, well, you have Albert Gleaves, free commander, American destroyer commander, and you could pop him in an inspiration slot on your IJN destroyer build. So, yeah, frankly, I don't think I would actually buy this guy. I don't see how he's any more valuable than Tanaka, and my thoughts on this base trait, as far as how useful it would be for, like I said, open water gunboat destroyers like the Russians, well, that's just speculation on my part. I'm not looking at these numbers. It doesn't jump out at me and say, ah, yes, I need to change up my build instantly. So this guy, I'd probably put a lot lower on the list. Moving on, in the German commander tree... Guess what? We get another German battleship commander. Her name is Clara N. Teslau, and her base trait is called Midnight Oil. This base trait increases the traverse speed of the main battery guns and reduces rudder shift time. Definitely not a bad thing to have on brawling type battleships that want to get in close, which the Germans are. You definitely want your guns to turn quicker, and you do want a less sluggish rudder shift, so potentially a good base trait for brawling German battleships with, well, torpedoes as well, because her unique skill, Boomsticks, reduces main battery... Reload time by 10%, reduces torpedo launcher reload time by 15%, but increases shell grouping, which is a debuff to accuracy, by 10%. And the German battleships are already pretty inaccurate, so I don't know, this could potentially be an interesting skill to try out on something like the Scharnhorst, Odin, or Tirpitz, although I don't know how inaccurate it is likely to make those ships to be and once again this is a german battleship commander we already have about 50 of those so this is probably not one i would rate too highly either i think probably the other german battleship commanders are better than this nevertheless this boomsticks skill i the name i love it is 
I don't know, it's interesting. It might be one that I actually test, but just taking a look at this commander, I don't think this one is one that I would actually buy. And then finally, we have Tikana, I mean, Ivan B. Delightful. Sorry, but doesn't his face look like Tikana's face in 30 years' time or so? I, I think it does. I reached out to Tikana on the Community Contributor Discord, and I asked him to either confirm or deny whether Wargaming's art department had used his likeness as an inspiration for Ivan B. Delightful. And Tikana said that unfortunately he can neither confirm nor deny this assertion, but if you look at this face, you look at Tikana's face, tell me they don't look similar. They do. In any case, Ivan B. Delightful is a Russian cruiser commander. His base trait decreases cruiser gun reload time and decreases the time it takes the cruiser's detectability to go down to normal after firing its main guns, basically like the base straight of André Lemonnier, the French commander. Uh, that's kind of interesting for the Russian cruisers, although they don't exactly have great concealment to begin with, so I'm not sure this would synergize well, and it certainly doesn't synergize well with his unique skill, Fear, Fear My Roar, which tightens up the accuracy of the cruiser's guns, but increases the detectability of cruisers. Frankly, I can't imagine why you would ever want to use this skill and make your cruiser more detectable. I don't think I would. It just goes against the grain of my entire cruiser build philosophy. But this base trait is potentially actually a pretty good one for not necessarily the Russian cruiser line, but other cruiser lines, perhaps. And so this guy, Ivan B. Delightful, is one that I might actually consider buying. But frankly, none of the three Halloween commanders this year are anywhere near the level of the OG Henry J. Hyde, who remains one of the best fictional commanders that has ever been released, and he was, of course, available last week. I think he's better than all three of these guys. So, your mileage may vary on these guys, but these are my thoughts on these commanders at first look. Now, how do you get these guys? Well, if you go over to the section of the store, and I believe it is under the offers tab, no, the special tab, Halloween 2021, yes. You can get these guys, I think, by purchasing these Halloween crates, and I think they should have a random chance to drop the commander, or you can choose which commander you want for sure and pay the cost of 5,000 doubloons, but this time you have the option of paying 5,000 whatever these things are called, these green chip things. These are the special temporary currency you get by playing the new Halloween mode called A Light in the Dark. If we take a look at the rewards, it looks like you can get, what is that, two, four, six, eight, a thousand? A thousand of these chips by getting five stars on this. And I'm sure there are probably other ways to acquire these chips aside from this. Maybe there is something in the missions tab, perhaps the Halloween missions. Some of these might give you chips or crates or something, not this one, maybe All Hallows' Eve. Ah yes, you can get some chips for doing this one. So, I don't know how much grinding you would have to do to get 5,000 chips, but I assume it can be done for at least one of these commanders. So there is the potential, just by playing the game and this new game mode, that you could get one of these new Halloween commanders for free, which is, you know, it's kind of nice. And I always appreciate seeing that premium content, being able to grind for it and get it for free. But like I said, neither of these three guys 
well, I guess neither of these two guys and this lady really make me think, ah, oh, yeah, I want to go out and buy one of these because they look really, really good. So these are my thoughts on the Halloween Commanders. Let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me if I'm wrong. Like, am I getting this completely off base? Are you planning to perhaps buy all three of these commanders? Do you think one of them looks really good? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, though. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.